Hey guys, Final Kim Pooch here. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video, guys. In this video, it's gonna be toxic, short, maybe long, I don't know, but I'm gonna say whatever I want on this video. We are gonna talk about balance update buff, guys. Okay, that's what we are gonna talk. Two Void Legendary Champion getting a buff, guys. Cyrilla said that last year on the Ash interview, if you guys missed that. She said, uh, Angar and the Fortus going to get a buff. And we've been waiting this moment since she said that. And it's finally here, guys. We learned the detail about the buff. I actually posted on my YouTube channel. You guys can already find it here. And same for the Discord channel. Uh, I'm going to leave the Fortus last, guys. Because his buff is definitely deserve much talk. I feel like Angar, guys. So Angar, basically, let me explain the buff, guys. Angar is the Orc Void Legendary Champion. I believe he's egg. Uh, in the game since the Big Bang, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And Angar A2 guys attacking enemy plays a provoke debuff, right? And cast and reflect damage and the counter attack buff. If you are thinking on the Hydra, you can also make a mischief tank, which is a good thing, right? So right now, guys, Angar have ability to land provoke debuff for two turn instead, but only 75% chance, guys. Okay. Uh and the another thing is, guys, uh, he's going to place decrease attack debuff now to the enemies under provoke debuff. So if we are still thinking about the Hydra specifically, uh, only one head going to get a provoke debuff, which is the head of the decay. And only that head going to get decrease attack debuff, guys, from the passive skill, which is 100% chance after you book it. Is that enough? Definitely not enough, guys. This is a Void Legendary Champion. Now I'm going to show you an example. We are going to Barbarian, one of the new champions, Archer Girl, Spirit of Hex. Hex, 3 turn. Provoke, 2 turn. 3 turn cooldown. 100% chance. Decrease speed, decrease turn meter. Again, I'm just talking about Hydra specifically. And the heal. How the hell? She's a Spirit Champion. Better than a Buit Lego. How the hell you call that a buff? That's not a buff. This is not a buff a Void Lego deserve it. Which is, I believe, he's more than four years old, guys. I believe. Maybe I'm mistaken, but... Uh, oh, man. Like, seriously asking Pilar, I'm like, do you think this is enough? Like, this is a Void Lego. I want to talk about Void Lego, guys, as a free-to-play perspective. If you're unlucky, which is only way to get a Void Lego from your Mercy, let's say, which is Mercy, guys, 220 Void Shard, right? Let's say you got unlucky, guys, you open 220 Void Shard to get your Mercy, right? Uh, which is normally, it's a 0.5% get Legendary Champion from Void Shard, same for the Ancient. So during the two weeks, it's a 1%. But if you're unlucky, guys, you guys need to open 220 Void Shard to get a Void Lego. Do you guys know how much it takes as a free to play to get 220 Void Shard? As an end game perspective, which means I can get Void Lego from Columbus, right? Doom Tower, stuff like that. Average, guys, is taking 6 7 months. So if you're unlucky, if you're getting Void Lego from your Mercy, it's gonna take. 6-7 months to get Void Legendary Champion as a free to play. Which means you can get 2 Void Lego every year. I got a Lucky last year. I got a 3 Void Lego. Speaking of Lucky, one of them was uh, Sifi. Enough. Already enough, okay? The other one was Supreme Etal. Or should I say Supreme Garlic. Supreme Trash. Worst champion ever, you know. And another one was Koarnar, which is the outdated champion again. A champion we need a buff. But after today, I understand one thing about Pelerium. They are not buffing the champion. I don't know what they are doing. I know they are doing that on purpose. Because guys, like there is like on the end game perspective, 90% of the legendary champion are fresh. Like fresh. Like literally trash guys. Trash. Like if you are looking like platinum push on the meta right now, right? Taras Maricha everywhere. They are broken 
but they are not nerfing them. Why? Because they are selling them, right? That's the point. So you are going to open your chart. You are going to open like 500 chart, which chart. Uh, you guys remember the Maichan video? He said like he spent like lots of money. He didn't get a Taras, right? That's the thing. That's the point. You are going to keep spent till you get a Taras. Till you get a Taras. Obviously, there is uh, going to be Angar in front of you. There is going to be Kornar in front of you. There is going to be Tumesia. There is going to be, I don't know. There is going to be one of these Void Legendary Champion on the Ogre Drive, right? They are keep releasing fresh champion in the game. So chance of the getting good champion is always going to be low. Always going to be lower than yesterday, guys. Every time they release a champion, your chance of the getting good legendary champion is getting lower. They doing that on the purpose. And it looks like they are going to do more aggressive way. Because they said, last year, by the way, basically, we pretty much did never ever get a balance update at all. They said they are going to return it this year oh please please just don't waste your time Polarin. just don't waste your time because this is not a buff now we are going to talk about fortus unbelievable like first time i see that like i couldn't believe it fortus buff damage increase i saw this picture earlier it's official the guy who work to make this picture should deserve more money than the developer team. Because there is more work on this picture, guys. There is more work on this picture. This is not a buff, guys. That's a not a buff. This is the second time for to get a buff like that. There's a multiple champion got a buff like that, guys. For example, the one is coming to my mind, uh, King Korok. I think he was dealing just throwing the number 30,000 damage and he's dealing 32,000 damage now. Massive. Wow. Game changer. All right. Fortus. I, I'm pretty sure Pilarium, anybody on the developer team, don't play this game. I'm actually right now 100% sure about that. I was have a doubt about that, but right now I'm 100% sure about that. Okay. Fortus. Let's talk about Fortus. Guys, Fortus problem is not the damage. Fortus problem, the meta. Current meta is make champion like Fortus. There's one more champion. I like to give example about him because he got a buff recently. Sadly, it was a late. I mean, speaking of recently, I think last year or something like that, Robot. Attack an enemy. Damage increase if the target under CC Diva. That's the thing. How we are going to be placing CC debuff on them? How? Everybody, if we are talking about arena specifically, which is we should be, every single champion, every single, excuse me, every single champion in the high tier arena has stone skin. To unlock the secret skill of the Fortus, you need to place them fear debuff. How we are gonna place a fear debuff enemies under stone skin? How we are gonna remove the stone skin? It's only 50-50. Let's say you have a 1 million accuracy or let's say cannot be resisted skill. It's still not guaranteed you are gonna be stripped stone skin. It's not guaranteed stone skin is 50-50. There's a 50% chance you are gonna either remove it or there is a 50% chance you are not. It's 50-50. There is nothing you can do about it. Right? Let's say you remove the stone skin. Okay, let's say you find a method to remove the stone skin 100% time, all the time, guys, okay? Even two, what you gonna do against the six-star ship? What you gonna do against that? Fear is a debuff. Placing fear against the ship is gonna make you ship. How? The current meta is against it. The ship, stone skin. Is gonna make Fortus useless, guys. Like damage increase. How much? How much damage increase? Like what? He he was dealing like ninety thousand damage. Now ninety five thousand damage, which is gonna be by the way. My Fortus actually max, guys. Don't ask me. So I can do some damage test on him. Don't worry about it. But damn, guys, like unbelievable, man. That's terrible, guys. 
that's terrible like I was actually hope I was thinking like oh my god maybe player I'm gonna be changed now you know stuff like that this is a big disappointment for me I don't know what you guys thinking let me know on the comment section thank you so much for watching again guys <laughs> damage increase uh, and if you guys love the video please like the video guys and sub my youtube channel catch you guys on the next time uh, bye bye